This is a Vive tracker and you can use it for all kinds of tracking things, tracking body parts, tracking robots and so on. I do support it in Humanoid Control Pro Edition, but I'm not a real fan. The reason for that is it's quite bulky, it's big and when you attach it to your body, it will move around. Last year I started working with this. These are small miniature uh, drones and they are great. They are fully open source and they have diff different uh, options for decks, for tracking options with uh, type of time of flight sensors and uh, optical flow sensors, but also a lighthouse deck. And that's interesting because actually it, it is small. The drone does all the processing on board board tracking, processing, etc. So you don't need an external PC because that's another uh, downside of the Vive trackers. You always need a PC to process the data coming from them, even if you have an autonomous robot, for example. But this one does everything on board. And so as it is fully open source, can we use it for generic tracking? That was uh, what I was wondering about. So this year I started working on this code. See if you can pull basically off this lighthouse deck and connect it to a, micro, a generic microcontroller and see if I can get out the data. So actually I have it working right now. It is still very basic and it needs some uh, voltage dividers and uh, uh, yeah, it's quite bulky right now, but it's working. It's working and actually I have it working fully. Positional tracking and six de degrees of freedom, rotational tracking. The, the, the tracking is not smooth there because it, it's a very early version and uh, it, it has lots of opportunities to improve and I will work on that. But I'm so happy that we ha now have a very small tracking option and it is tiny actually for a lighthouse tracking. It has some downsides as it is this small. I think the tracking quality is actually less than a fully fledged HTC Vive tracker. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. I will. I have an OptiTrack system to, to my, uh, as a, 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 a ground truth. Uh, so let's see if we can do some experiments in the future. Uh, but I think it's quite well. It, 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 good enough for most uh, uh, things. And the other thing is occlusion because this has only sensors on the top. And when you go to a Vive tracker, it has sensors on every side. So if you put it in any order, it, it will still find the, 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 the beams from the lighthouse systems. Yeah, well, if you put it like this and your lighthouse beams are from the top, the sensor won't see it. Currently only four lighthouse base stations are supported for this deck, but Bitcraze is already working on a solution with a 2.0 uh, lighthouse deck, which supports up to 16 lighthouses. The implementation is available on my GitLab. Uh, warning, this is very early code. Keep in mind that the tracking is not smooth yet. I have lots of opportunities to improve. Uh, so, so currently I'm using two lighthouses, uh, but you can also use uh, a single beam in some cases. You can use prediction, Coleman filters. Actually, I'm planning to add an IMU because all these trackers, this is an old one, they have an IMU inside to improve the tracking quality. And we can use more than two lighthouses. So that is all for the future. Uh, right now I'm working on calibration code because when you start up, the lighthouse tracker needs to know actually where these lighthouses are in the room. And there for that you have this calibration phase. Uh, you may know it from SteamVR, uh, but there it is actually determining where the lighthouses are in the room. So when that is working, I will be making a new video and let you know about my progress. If you want to know more about what I'm doing and discuss it with me, for example, then you can always join my Discord server. I will put the link into the description.